Saudi Arabia might not seem like the world's trendiest fashion hub. Men wear all white gowns and women are covered in black in public. The two sexes are also separated in much of their day-to-day -day life. But look beneath the surface and it's clear Saudi Arabians are very fashion conscious. And global retailers are now looking to tap this increasingly affluent group of shoppers. Saudi Arabian Juhaira Sajer started a fashion blog three years ago called Jay's Cherry. She now has 250,000 subscribers on her YouTube channel, which she produces from her home in Jeddah. She says Saudi women are very trendy. At private parties, they take off their black abaya and show off Western clothes. Shopping is a really big thing here. Uh, as I said before, the girls here really like uh, following the latest trends and such. Plus, it's also a fun way of meeting your friends and going shopping together. And there's a lot of pressure in our society for looking good anyway, so we have weekly visits to the mall. Big fashion retailers like Gap, Spain Zara and the UK's Marks and Spencer are expanding in Saudi Arabia but they are also trying to abide by local religious rules. Marks and Spencer launched standalone lingerie and beauty stores in Saudi Arabia. It staffed them with all women, so Saudi females could shop alone without a male chaperone. The retailer also uses headless mannequins to adhere to religious norms that say the faces of women should not be shown in public. Until last week, Mrs. Sajer didn't show her face in video blogs on YouTube. But now she says Saudi Arabians are becoming more liberal, especially when it comes to fashion and shopping. The newer generation were starting to understand our freedom and our rights the right way, which means we're taking their religion purely without their religion and traditions like the past uh, generations. It's just that we need to understand more of it, we need to understand that we have a lot of rights, we have freedom and we have to ask and fight for it. Bye!